Hey everyone, I hope you are doing well. I'm honestly so excited to be sitting down right now and doing some commentary over a video because it has been way too long and it feels kind of weird honestly, but I'm gonna try and get used to it again and try not to talk so fast because I had a problem with that before. So bear with me, but today's video is gonna be a leg workout followed by what I typically eat in a day. So since it has been a while since I've uploaded consistently to all of my social media, I figured I would just kind of go ahead and update you guys on what my current goals are as far as my body goes. Um, right now I kind of want to lean out a little bit, nothing really crazy or drastic, but I want to be more aware of like what I'm eating throughout the day and how much I'm eating because for the past month or so, not only have I not been eating enough, but I've been just kind of eating whatever I want whenever I want to. And there's nothing wrong with that, but for me personally, I notice a huge difference in my body and just how I feel overall as a whole when I'm not really paying attention to what I'm eating. So my goal for right now is just to actually track my macros and make sure that I'm eating enough, um, especially enough protein, enough carbs. I'm someone who's actually really carb sensitive. So if I don't eat enough carbs, it definitely shows and I will look, I mean, my glutes look smaller, my legs look smaller. And I guess it's a good and a bad thing. I'm actually kind of grateful for it in a way because when I want to lean out, I can do it really fast. I can lose weight really fast, um, lose body fat really fast, etc. But it kind of sucks for what my goals are because I always want to, you know, have um, big legs, big glutes, all of that. And so if I don't eat enough, it shows really, really fast. So my goals right now are to make sure that I'm eating enough and getting enough nutrients in my diet. I also just want to increase my overall activity throughout the day as a whole. I don't really like cardio, so I don't do it, you know, in the typical way, like on a treadmill or anything. Um, my way of cardio is going for a walk outside or dancing around the house or something along those lines. So I will just be doing that type of stuff more often when I'm feeling bored instead of going and laying down and watching TV or getting on my phone. I just want to do something that is more productive and just increases my overall activity throughout the day. And real quick, as y'all can see, I went ahead and put on a t-shirt because my shoulders are actually hurting really badly. Normally, I can get away with wearing sleeveless tops when I do front squats, but for whatever reason on this particular day, my shoulders were hurting and they felt really tight, so I just went ahead and threw on a t-shirt that I had in my gym bag. I felt kind of silly, but at the end of the day, my safety is more important to me than how I look. And from now on, I'm definitely going to be wearing sleeves when I do front squats. So just to give you guys a heads up as far as what I have planned for my YouTube channel, I do plan on doing an 8 week series soon, um, just kind of showing you guys how I will be eating and training over the next few weeks. Um, I do plan on changing my training up just a little bit, nothing crazy, but I do want to incorporate a lot of exercises that I actually used to do that I haven't been doing for no reason at all. Um, I want to just be more consistent with my training as a whole. I have lost some strength, so strength will be a huge goal of mine right now, just kind of working um, on getting stronger again. I lost some strength due to not eating enough one and I also got sick so I've kind of been frustrated with my training right now but I am excited to have a new program and more structure to what I'm doing and just really focus on my goals. So I do plan on doing a series over that and sharing with you guys like more recipes and stuff like that. Um, a lot of y'all have actually asked also for a hair care routine video. So I do plan on doing that and just sharing with you guys how I personally grow and maintain my hair. And if there's any other videos that you guys want to see, definitely let me know. I do also plan on doing a lot more how-to videos um, and updating you guys on my forum on certain lifts and all of that good stuff. So whatever else you guys want to see, definitely let me know in the comment section because I love y'all's suggestions. And they really help me out a lot, especially right now that I haven't been active in a while. I really want to know what you guys want to see. And speaking of programs, I know that you guys have been waiting forever for me to come up with a book and come up with programs. Um, we are getting really close, but I am a perfectionist and I want everything to be absolutely perfect for you guys. I'm actually working on multiple programs, not just the book. Um, I'm also working on the website and I'm working on different blogs because I want to share more with you guys than just fitness related stuff. So if there's anything you want me to talk about, definitely let me know below. I'm also working on a four week training program that will be available for free. So lots has been worked on, but I appreciate y'all for being patient with me. And I will put the link to my website in the description box and you guys can sign up with your email to get notified once the website goes live. But of course, I will um, make announcements as well. But I'm going to go ahead and say this again. You know, the way that you eat and train should always be done in a way that you can enjoy. If you see someone else doing something and you try it and you don't like it, don't feel bad about it. At the end of the day, your happiness is the most important thing and training and eating and all of those things should not feel like a chore and you shouldn't feel miserable while you're doing it. So the most important thing 
is that you're doing it in a way that is most enjoyable to you and that works best for you and your lifestyle. And this applies to everything in life, not just fitness. It is absolutely okay to do what you truly want to do and set goals that make you truly happy. You don't need to live your life for the satisfaction of other people. It doesn't matter what other people say, think, or do. At the end of the day, everyone's going to have different interests and different opinions, and that's perfectly okay. So you're never going to please everyone, so just do what makes you truly happy. So the training aspect of this video is almost over. There's only a couple more exercises left. So I figured I would go ahead and just start talking to you guys about how I eat a little bit more. Um, I do like the train fasted, so typically my last meal of the day is my biggest meal of the day. I also like to do carb cycling. Nothing really drastic, but typically on my leg days, I will eat a little bit more carbs than I do on my upper body days. So not including protein shakes and snacks in between my meals, I typically eat four meals a day. And I have the most amount of carbs right after I work out, as well as the last meal of the day. I don't eat the exact same thing every single day, but this video will kind of give you guys an idea of, for the most part, what a lot of my meals consist of, or like the style of my meals. And I'm also going to start doing more like recipe type videos on here soon. I have been actually uploading a lot of recipes to my um, Instagram story, so if you guys like that, let me know. But I do plan on doing more like updated what I eat in a day type videos often, since I don't always eat the exact same thing. I also love to cook my food in different ways so I don't always get bored um, eating the same stuff every single day. But here we go, we're going to start with meal one will typically be eggs with avocado salsa, some oatmeal and some bacon. And I love making like avocado salsa and different types of salsas because it makes your food so much better. And then my second meal will usually be with less carbs, typically something like chicken and vegetables or chicken and like a chicken salad. And I have a really good dressing that I like to make that I'll give you all the recipe to soon. My third meal is usually something like caldo de pollo or chicken soup. I love this. It's my favorite way to eat chicken and it's super easy to make. So I'll give you all the recipe for this soon as well. And then my fourth meal will usually have the most carbs and it'll usually be beef with some sweet potato or some rice. So this I hope just kind of gives you guys a better idea of how I eat. Again, I'll be doing more in depth how I eat in a day video soon. This also didn't include protein shakes or snacks in between my meals. So that is going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.